Well, everyone knew what was going yeah, on. It was oh, just like Doug is going to do money sent them into the yes. permanent hospital. I guess I should have just a call. Give it up. Yeah, I just slipped. Remember that hand with Mo Money? Whew. 700. Super Mario. 4,000 in chat and growing. Terrorists. Ace Jack off. 700 to go. Yeah. I'm trying to get the nits. Ooh. Rampage decides to juice it up late in the nit game. Three bets to 24. Will Mariano play with the 5 3 suited is the question, but we're first on Yushan. 99 Gretzky. Four bet likely incoming, but. A little hard to navigate off of 18 5. Just makes the call. Giving Mariano a price with a sneaky 5 3 of spades. He's thinking about his options and wondering if Rampage, who started. The three betting is going to be in this. He's got to be at least in this hand for fear that Rampage will get rid of his nit button and he'll owe the tax. I would wow. like Terrace with the ace wow. jack How not going to complete. <laughs> I think we swapped. Not, I don't sure. know. Yeah, that's pretty You've just stalled the call and then just We are playing 50, 100, 200 at the Lodge with the nit game, the squid game, the... Stand-up game in play. Mariano, who is still trying to win his first pot so that he is exempt from the stand-up game. He opts to limp the 5-3 suited, which is perfectly fine. 5-3 of spades. Over to Terrace in the cutoff. He makes a 700, playing super-duper deep-stacked. $70,000 or so. With the ace-jack offsuit, perfectly fine in the cutoff. Over to Rampage Poker. One of my favorite poker players. One of my favorite video bloggers. He makes it $2,400. With King of Diamonds, Jack of Spades. All right. Yu Chen in the straddle with pocket nines. What a nasty spot facing a limp and a raise and a three bet. $18,000 deep. Ugh, I think I would just let it go immediately. It's annoying, but out of position if you put in the four bet to any amount, let's say $6,000, and someone wants to put all their money in, you can't really fold because you're only $18,000 deep. If you call, Mariano could re-raise, which would be a disaster. Terrace could also re-raise, that would also be bad. And most flops are going to be bad for you and you're barely getting the right implied odds. So I think you probably just want to fold hands like pocket 10s, 9s, 8s, 7s in this scenario. Yu Chan calls though, whatever. Mariano decides to splash around and interestingly enough, Terrace decides to let it go. Which some may think, what in the world? How could he fold with the ace jack? The problem is that he's going to be horribly dominated in this scenario. I realize that he's actually dominating this time, but I think this is a situation where most of the time you do just need to let go of the non-super-duper premium offsuit high cards, and he does. Good fold, I think, even though it's actually horribly bad this time. Let's go to the flop. Well, you're going to get to see it on the stream. Would have connected with top pair, what as does Rampage. Yeah. 14. 14, okay. No player with a club. In yeah. Sober October or something. Yeah, maybe that was halfway. Is that what halfway. you're doing? Yo, you're Sober October. No. Yeah. I was sober yesterday. Gutter right, ball for Mariano, right looking for a four, and he's reaching <laughs> for chips. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't think it's about to end. Yeah. 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 Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Moment of silence. <laughs> <laughs> Moment of silence for Bulldogs <laughs> sobriety. Thank you. It's, it's, been, it's been tough. It's been a battle. But rewarding. I don't know how those one beer guys do it. Like, I'm either yeah. not drinking yeah, yeah, or I'm uh, just like. I'm the same, uh, just so it's. Flop comes. Jack of clubs. Seven of clubs. Six of clubs. No one has a club. I presume this would check around to Rampage. He'd make a small bet and that'd be the end of the hand. But no. This is a YouTube video instead. Yu Chan checks his pocket nines. Mariano with the 5 3 on Jack 7 6. Three clubs. Mariano has no clubs. He decides to lead for half pot. $4,000. I mean, look, this is optimistic. I do get the idea that when you are very deep stacked, they are $67,000 deep and the pot's only $8,000. You can be quite aggressive in general, especially in spots where you could just have the nuts. The problem is, is that Rampage and Yu Chan could both easily have the nuts in this scenario or a flush or a top pair or an overpair with a club. So I don't know. This one's optimistic. He goes 4,000. Rampage with top pair. No club, of course, is not going to fold. Yu Chan lets it go. 
Let's head to the turn. Knit on knit violence here. One of these players will pay the tax. Another club, nobody with a club. It's also no way to live. I can Open live. ender now for Mariano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in one, I'm having 12. Zero is so much easier than one. Yes, yeah, it is, yeah. Mariano shuts it down. Waving the white flag here. Does Rampage want to take a stab or see a river? Goes to the river, we will The turn is the eight of clubs. And this kind of demonstrates the problem with Mariano's lead is that now he potentially could get Rampage to fold his top pairs or over pairs. The problem though, is that if Rampage has any club, he's just not going to fold. And of course, Rampage is going to have a club a large chunk of the time. And he may even get kind of sticky with a hand like... King Jack, no club, and then call again on the turn. So I don't mind Mariano's check fold, but at the same time, if he wanted to continue bluffing here, I think it would be reasonable enough. That said, just check fold the flop. When you flop nothing in a multi-way pot, just get out of the way. Mariano checks. Rampage checks it back because there are four clubs on the board. He's just trying to see a cheap showdown. So we go to the river. Final table Kev gives us a six. It's best just to have like one or two and have them really To pair for Rampage. Like that's, probably the, that's probably the best way to drink, but it's also the least fun way. Yeah, I mean, so it's, it kind of completely defeats the point. Of Mariano in a bad situation here. The only way he can win this spot, he feels is to bet. But just... Okay, well, hold on. I said day drinking. Basically, he is playing the board. Would go check check if he waves the white flag. When you said I was like, I don't think so. And he's gonna go for some bubble gum and banana. Looks like AK Rick. About half hot. The river is the six of spades. Mariano has nothing, so he should probably bluff. And he does. Half pot, eight thousand dollars. I think that's fine and reasonable. You may not know this, but Mariano and Rampage have actually been friends for a really long time, and they play against each other a lot. What I want to know, before we see what Rampage does, is when you are playing poker with your friends, how does it actually affect your play? Does it have no effect at all? You play against them like a totally random normal person? Do you try to avoid getting in pots with them? Or do you purposely try to battle with them and crush their soul? Take a second, think about it. Let me know in the comments section below. While you're down there, click the notification bell, and then we will see what Rampage does with his... Pretty rough bluff catcher. This will not work. Do that? Spain and Italy. Rampage trying to decide, do I need to turn my two pair into a bluff or am I good here? And I think I'll just settle on calling the 8K. Raising seems a bit dangerous. Does have some removal to top boat. Mariano praying for he will it comes indeed to raise. Will indeed raise here. It's going to be a quick fold. Wow. Pot size raise there. Yes. Pretty ballsy raise. Just wasn't quite sure if he calls there and see maybe my jacks and sixes aren't good here. So Mariano loses the first knit game and he's going to give everybody a nice, beautiful plum. 500 for you. 500 for you. A bit to my surprise, Rampage does not call, which I think is probably the default decision. He actually raises. I don't know how much he raises. I think to the size of the pot, looks like 24,000 bucks, give or take. Not sure if that's actually a pot size raise here. It looks like a little bit less. Whatever. He goes 24,000. Mariano quickly lets it go and Rampage wins a nice pot. You may ask, why would Rampage potentially want to raise in this scenario? Well, perhaps he thinks Mariano's range in this scenario contains a whole lot of medium strength value hands. So what are medium strength value hands on this board? What's well, going to be the queen of clubs, 10 of clubs, nine of clubs, something like that. And if you do put in a raise against those hands, those hands are going to feel highly inclined to fold because Rampage could be sitting here with the ace of clubs, which would make a whole lot of sense, or very likely a full house. Notice that if Rampage did have three of a kind on the flop, a set, he would very likely call the flop bet, 
check back the turn, get to this river when the board pairs, and obviously put in a raise. And the fact that Rampage has a jack in his hand is quite good because it blocks Mariano from having a full house himself. So, cool play by Rampage. I think I would have logically just called, hoping that my opponent is bluffing with some nonsense, especially if my opponent can play the 5-3 of spades this way. But Rampage decides to take control of the pot, seize the day, and put Mariano in a difficult spot with what is likely most of his range. And this time, it worked out quite nicely for him. That's going to be it for today. If you enjoyed today's video, again, click the like and subscribe button below. Good luck in your games. Have fun. If you have any other fun hands that you want to see me highlight on this YouTube channel, feel free to post them below. Thank you for all your comments. I appreciate them. Good luck in your games. Have fun. And when you get to the river with a bluff catcher, consider if raising may actually be better. I'll talk to you next time.